Today I have a very monumental video to film and continue over the next couple of days. This is definitely a milestone video, a video I will look back on for years and be able to watch as I make my first steps into real post-grad adult life. I'm saying that right now with such a dramatic tone while I'm literally sat here just very neutral like it hasn't really hit me yet that any of this is happening but right now I can very calmly tell you that today is my last day living at home I am moving out tomorrow morning it's Friday August 2nd right now I move into my first apartment post grad on my own no roommates just me myself and I my very own place tomorrow on August 3rd 2024. Such a monumental thing to say that I can afford my own rent, I'm moving out on my own, I'm completely relocating for work, which is also kind of like an exciting announcement because I have mentioned in my last couple videos that I was interviewing and touring and potentially relocating for a job. Well, basically i got it and it is in southern california so i will be moving to a completely new area i do not know the area at all everything is happening so quickly like i went to visit last weekend to visit brenna and celebrate her graduation and have a little girls trip with annie and jackie but it turned into looking for apartments and touring with my boss and meeting people that i'll be working with and all of this work related stuff i put an application in for an apartment while I was down there. It was approved. I put in the deposit and I've been doing the lease over the last couple days. It's officially mine. I'm paying rent today and moving in tomorrow and it's just going to be insane. I definitely wanted to film this whole thing, doing packing and driving down there, moving in, setting up, everything that goes on and my emotions over the course of the next couple days, just getting set up in a new place. I am definitely excited, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm sad, I'm scared, I'm literally all the emotions, it's just not really hitting me yet, it doesn't feel real. I'm still here, I'm still seeing friends, like things have been going on the last couple of days that feel really normal so I just can't believe that I just won't be living here anymore this won't be my primary residence you never know what's gonna happen I could be living back here one day who knows what is going to happen but I also may not be moving back here one day and maybe I'll just continue to move into different places that are just mine. Unfortunately, I have been packing for the last couple of days. Like I said, this turnaround time is crazy. I literally just got back from visiting the exact same area that I'm moving on Tuesday night and it's Friday afternoon, so I just came home and I immediately started packing. I have like bins all around me, my suitcase. I have stuff packed up behind me, like it's just everywhere. The house is covered in my stuff, but my mom and I are gonna start to load up our cars today and tonight, really fill them up so that we're ready to go early in the morning. I just wanted to introduce this video, say that this is going to be an all all-encompassing moving vlog and I am so excited to take you guys along for it because this is going to be such an important digital memory of mine to look back on one day so I am very excited to document it and take you all along the ride with me so without further ado let's get into the moving process we are on our way right now to move me into my first apartment. We're all packed up. It is a foggy morning here on the coast, but we are heading to 70 degrees and sunny in SoCal. So I'm gonna take you along, obviously, as much as I can throughout the drive throughout today. So you guys are gonna keep me company since I couldn't get any of my friends to accompany me on this trip and be my little passenger. It's just gonna be me and you. Hi guys, 
I am in my new apartment officially. I just moved all of my stuff with the help of my mom from her car and my car. She actually went to Costco just now because I'm gonna get a mattress from there hopefully a mattress frame if they have one, and then maybe one or two other things. She's gonna pick those up for me right now while I just get to unpacking everything. I honestly don't have that much stuff now that it's all in. I feel like if I had a studio as opposed to a one bed, one bath, then it would seem like I had more stuff. But now that it's all in here, I realize just how much like furniture and everything I'm gonna need to buy. But I just wanted to tour you guys around really quick while the space is still very empty so starting here this is the front door and then over to the right side is a storage closet with my water heater inside there is literally so much storage in this space like i won't even need this much room but this is always nice to have and then to the left is the entrance to like my bathroom and bedroom. So right here, I just have a mirror with all of my bathroom stuff on top. Everything is kind of spread out right now at the minute. And then here is the bedroom. This is like the only piece of furniture that I brought with me, this Ikea piece. And then I also have my full length mirror over here i love this mirror also from ikea so since i have these mirrors in my bedroom i might move that out into the living room just in case i have people over that want to like take pictures and stuff i'll have that but then i have this amazing closet space as well it's so big and spacious so that's really exciting i just have stuff kind of everywhere in front of the mirror going over here this is the living room i'm excited to fill this all up i literally only have like a few things everywhere all of my kitchen stuff is over here and then here is my kitchen we have a nice fridge i have all my plants out i have an oven here and then drawers all around so that's very exciting and then i do also have like a little back door that leads out onto a little patio which is super nice but here is basically like most of the space. You can see it kind of all from this corner. So yeah, this is my new apartment. When I got here and met up with the woman who works in the leasing office, she showed me that they have a cute little gift bag for me to open of stuff that they give to new residents, which is so sweet. So I'm just gonna show you guys what's in here because I'm excited to see. The first thing is a little kitchen towel. Very cute, just has some lemons and some flowers on it. That's so sweet. Oh! I think this is a shower curtain because it doesn't come with a shower curtain. So I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. And that's super helpful because that was on my shopping list actually. So I really hope that that's what this is. Toilet paper and paper towels, the essentials. Then we have some multi-use reusable wipes. And then there's a little cleaning towel rag, if you will. There's also some trash bags. This is also on my shopping list. Hopefully these are a good size and fit the trash can that I brought with me. There's also some Tide laundry detergent. There's also some Dawn dish soap, another thing that was on my shopping list. Like they've just thought of everything it looks like. And then there is a little duster. How nice is that? But right now while my mom is still at Costco, I'm gonna start to unpack some things, empty some things. Yeah, I'm just gonna get to it and see what I can get done.
so I just took a shower. I am feeling so much better, definitely cleaner and fresher from the long day of sweating and driving and all that good stuff. Right now, I think I am going to just go on Amazon or Walmart or Facebook Marketplace, just start doing some research. I need to order a bed frame that will be delivered tomorrow so that while my mom is still here, I can get some help putting things together. Um, so I'm definitely gonna order that and then basically just start to make a shopping list as well Like I'm sure we'll go to Target or Trader Joe's things like that tomorrow So I'm just gonna start putting a shopping list together and order anything that I need like right now <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's Monday August 5th. I am officially here in my apartment alone my mom left about an hour ago she was staying at a hotel nearby so i went over there and said goodbye to her this morning she is on her way back home and now i am here officially by myself i'm still looking at a very empty apartment i did not realize how much space i would really have to fill and how many things i realistically need to buy so i don't know how the apartment will look by the end of this video. I don't really have plans to do much like furniture shopping today. I do want to go to like Trader Joe's and get groceries because all I have in the fridge is like leftovers from when we've eaten out but I don't have anything to make a meal or to snack on or any kind of like breakfast food so I haven't really eaten much today. I went over to my mom's hotel and got coffee and I had like a little breakfast pastry that they had but but that's just about it. So Trader Joe's is definitely on my list today and I have to go about like 20 minutes away to Trader Joe's anyway and there's a lot of shopping nearby so depending on my energy level, depending on what I feel like I can realistically get today, I definitely need to find a Dollar Tree too or just some place to get like a bunch of little cheap things because I have an ongoing list on my phone of things that I have just thought of and like needed throughout the day so I'll probably just like continue to shop for those things and then if I see anything that's really calling my name like furniture wise then I'll look into that as well but it's 11:30 right now and I am just going to head out and do my shopping for the day <laughs> It is 7 p.m. now. I spent most of the day shopping today and then I just got back to my apartment and like crashed. I did a little bit of organizing, but that is it. This apartment has been so welcoming. The woman in the leasing office when I was signing papers on Saturday told me that they give all their new residents a welcome meal and they usually like to do it on the residents first night but since I moved in on Saturday and their offices were closed over the weekend they told me that I could have my welcome meal tonight on Monday so they actually ordered me Domino's as my little welcome meal. I got to pick what kind of pizza I wanted and then like a side they were like you could get wings or salad or a dessert so you know I had to get the brookies I am obsessed with these they are delicious I've already eaten one as you can see but I wasn't really hungry earlier they delivered it like two hours ago so it's actually like room temperature now it's not hot but I got a sausage and pepperoni pizza and I probably would have opted for a salad as my second item because I don't like to eat pizza by itself like I have to have like a vegetable or something but I had salad here so I think I am going to make some Caesar salad have some pizza and have a little dinner right now before it gets like too late so I'm probably just gonna watch some TV and then eat on my little makeshift table so I'm just gonna prep my little salad and plate up my little welcome meal Maya. 